the jet is not my son. She says I. Okay, so he is. He is fucking with my mic right now. So what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to the channel it's me here go Des. in today's video it's gonna be another reason why i hate bitches you guys what my little king get the fuck out of the way I gotta tell you a whole another one what the fuck a tampon really bad you ain't gonna fucking expose me <laughs> he's such a fuck so really okay look this is gonna be like another reason literally dead ass part two on why i hate bitches shit buckle the fuck up you know hold on to your chonies and so this all starts off i want to say a couple years ago when i had met this girl we're gonna call her Gigi, and i actually met her on social media um things were really cool you know i had met her once at one of my I had met her once um, when she had pulled up to a Halloween function that I had hosted two years ago. She then later on introduced me to another one of her friends. We're just going to call her Brianna. And, you know, if you guys have seen the other story time, basically, you know, I had thought I had genuinely met some bitches that I can call like my homegirls and shit, but they just turned out like weird as fuck so with these bitches i was thinking like okay it's not like that it's not gonna be like that like you know what i'm saying and it wasn't so i thought right in the beginning so i thought these are bitches that i would go clubbing with and i had actually put these bitches onto something so we was always together like it was cool it was really cool oh, okay and keep in mind, I'm only saying that because me and Gigi do have a platform. We have been doing social media for a minute. And this bitch, like, I'm not even trying to sound like that. <laughs> that bitch just wasn't on what we was on. You know what I'm saying? Supposedly that bitch, check this out. <laughs> Supposedly this bitch, she hung out with the fucking hype house that supposedly she was popping it like years ago there was this one time where i just peeped some shit like you know this bitch was like trying too fucking hard and i had told Gigi about it and one thing i didn't like she just started going off about like how weird she was and how careful i should be around this bitch and it's like okay hold on how are you gonna say this is your friend you know what I'm saying? Or your best friend, your closest friend. And like, you're talking about her like this. How do you, how are you telling me this and you're still close with the bitch? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's weird. It's just weirdo shit. Still kept it cool. I just observed a little more. And I was very cautious of what I told that bitch. Like anything personal or like just shit like that. I, like I already knew. I knew better. Like I fast forward. This is where... The three man story comes to play. And when it, whoa, 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 before y'all be like, what the fuck are y'all on? It wasn't on some shit like that. So basically, in our words, right? A three man, or like, it's technically like a two man, but there's just three. So it's more like, you got a homie for the homegirl, or you got a homegirl for the homie, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But since there's three bitches, there's gonna be three homies for the bitches. But it wasn't even on some shit like that. Like, we not about that shit. Like, we don't need to do... We don't need to do all that, okay? We had went to a club. And I was trying to get some. But I'm not the type of bitch to just leave, like, and go get some. Like, I want to make sure my homegirls are okay before I'm okay knowing that I'm going to go get some. So, so after the club, Brianna wanted to link with this one motherfucker that I guess she's been talking to apparently for real. So, she did... But I had left my Fashion Nova light with her. Keep in fucking mind, my Fashion Nova fucking light, that bitch was a custom. You had to be at the Fashion Nova beach house, bitch, to get that shit. So the fact that she fucking had that shit, I was low-key pressed up. I was like, oh my God. It's because I left it with her. It's not because like she took that. 
oh she didn't take that but hold on y'all i'm not even i'm not even there yet i was like fuck like that was the only thing i gave a fuck about to be honest with you so i had texted her you know while she was with that guy and i was like hey bitch like my light yeah girl like when i see you like i'll give it to you like don't worry because i was gonna see her the next day so it's us three in a facetime group call she's telling us like you know the business but it wasn't even fucking business you know what they did they fucking cuddled us thinking that she's driving home right and i'm gonna see her later on that night she's telling us this stupid ass shit next thing i know i hear a bang on my fucking door did i mention oh fuck i didn't i forgot to mention i'm sorry we had each other's locations okay so no fucking heads up no motherfucking text like hey is it okay like no fucking nothing that bitch is outside my motherfucking door it's like what the morning i had my fucking titties out like i was butt ass naked like bro I was like, what the f- I swear on everything, this bitch did not tell me that she was going to pull up. So I was like, and so Gigi felt some type of fucking way. Like, the way that Gigi felt was more like, oh, so these bitches are just going to like hang out like without me. That's the vibe that I got because she felt some type of way and she clicked and she was outside my fucking door. And you know my pad is like a safe safe space it's like open to anybody that i fuck with you know what i'm saying like but damn like i had my fucking titties out like i I felt like a fucking heads up would have been fucking nice or like if she would have like asked you know what i'm saying but she just showed up at my motherfucking door i'm thinking one she got some and two she was gonna go home she didn't get shit and she pulled up not to her fucking home i opened the fucking door and she's like oh here's your fashion over light at least she brought back my fucking light because i would have been a fade bitch we hopped back on facetime with Gigi, and she was like oh i didn't know you guys were gonna like be together right now and i was like i didn't either you know we're getting ready and then she's telling me that the motherfucker that she linked with is actually homies with this one motherfucker that been wanted to link with me so i was like (gasps) perfect and she wanted to see him again so uh, initially it was supposed to be a two-man but since the homegirl felt left out we was like okay fuck it let's do this but do you got another homeboy and they said yes so we made it a three-man you see this is where yeah this is where the three man comes into play whatever it came down to that night that we were supposed to do the three man and uh, or we hopped out the car right when the homies were heading out like to get us me not knowing shit i was literally like oh this about to be interesting for some fucking reason the motherfucker that brianna was fucking with he was telling her that he really wanted to see her and he wanted like he was gonna go but then he was telling his homeboys that were telling me that he's not gonna pull up so so they brought another homie for her and i was like what the fuck i was like brianna check with this motherfucker because how do they know that you're fucking with him but they brought you another homie something's getting a little fishy brianna's motherfucker didn't pull up yet so it's us we're waiting on him right he's still telling the homies that he's not gonna pull up because he said a couple fucking things he said that he was at a function in santa monica he said he was with his fucking family he said he was at the fucking club motherfucker was just everywhere but where the fuck he was supposed to be i guess so you know every like words were just getting fucking like thrown out there like what the fuck we get some drinks in and moments fucking later Brianna's man comes in y'all can you move that shit that shit smell like 10 cans of bounce ass Brianna's man walks in and I'm gonna tell y'all the order that like we were sitting so this can make a little bit more sense okay so it was the homie that was trying to get at Gigi it was 
my man it was me it was Gigi and it was Brianna okay that motherfucker greets everybody right starts from the homeboy so he dabs up the homeboy the other homeboy I shake his hand he was like hey like I'm blah 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 and I'm like hey what's up like I'm Dez when he gets to fucking Gigi I've never seen dick riding at its fucking finest tell me why he looks at Gigi and he's about to shake her hand like be like oh what's up I'm bro what the fuck homie covers his eyes bro he was like no way that's you and i'm like hmm the fuck he was like damn like i've known you back from the tiktok days and i'm like what the fuck who is this motherfucker because i've known this bitch since the tiktok days i was so fucking confused i was like wait I was adding this all in my motherfucking head. And keep in mind, this is all in front of Brianna. He's so fucking starstruck and shit. He goes to Brianna and dabs her up. He just cuddled with this bitch last night and he fucking dabs her up. I got so fucking pissed. I was like, bro, don't act like you don't know who the fuck she is and you just dabbed her up. You better give that bitch a hug or something. After that shit that you just do right now. Oh. Hell no. Nah. I don't know what the fuck happens to the homeboy. That Gigi was supposed to originally like. You know. But he ended up fucking leaving. We didn't see him. Whatever. Gigi like feels uncomfortable. Like sitting right there right. Because it's like we're all near each other. So she moves where the homeboy was at. And. Still. I'm just. I'm just like. I'm looking at everybody. Even me and the homie that I was supposed to like, you know? We were looking at each other like... What the fuck? With his fucking arm around her. He's asking Gigi... Oh, so... How's your TikTok? Are you still doing that? How you been? How's your social media going? Keep in mind, Brianna's a nobody-ass bitch. Okay? And... The fact that she wanted to do that. You know what I'm saying? And he was dead ass still like. Let me just fucking throw this out there too. This is the same bitch that was like. Hanging out with you is going to make me an influencer. And for you motherfuckers that know me. I don't even consider myself an influencer. So the fact that that bitch said that. I was already like. She was like, Des, come with me to the bathroom, yeah? I get pulled into the fucking bathroom. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This bitch was like, damn, like, I was supposed to tell you sooner. But, you know, it just never came up because I didn't think it was that fucking important. But me and him used to talk. I was like talk she was like yeah like we just used to message but like it never got that far like this is the first time he's seeing me like IRL and I'm like mm. and I was like does she know that this bitch said no and straight up I feel like this is girl code regardless if it was just talking texting you met up whatever the fuck let your bitch know and i was like what do you mean like whoa, 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 whoa. i was just so fucking confused because i was like how the fuck does she not know that like why didn't you just fucking say something you know what i'm saying like you know how fucking stupid that bitch looks right now like and feels and i felt it it's it was dude the fact that I felt all this shit, like, it wasn't, it wasn't even my shit. And I felt all of that. They did their thing, you know, they just texted, whatever, and never, and never went more than that. But that all of a sudden, Brianna, like, starts fucking with him. Like, oh, she shows, like, Gigi, like, oh, like, this the girl. This the girl. Yeah, he looked like a girl. But, oh, this is the motherfucker, like, I'm talking to, blah, blah, blah. And she just made a face. Like, she never said anything from there. So th this bitch knew. But, like, 
she didn't think she was gonna see him that night and vice versa like he didn't think he was gonna see her that night so I was just like bitch you know you're wrong for that right like you can't really blame her for real because it's like how the fuck is she supposed to know like you haven't said shit this whole motherfucking time you know and she was like yeah but like it, I didn't I didn't feel the need to like it was it was never that serious like we never linked or nothing and I was like okay bitch but still you know what I'm saying like so we come out the bathroom and everybody's like standing like if they ready to dip right and tell me why Brianna's like oh I'm gonna go back home with him what the fuck are you talking about like you literally just got dogged out by him not even in a fucking you know what I'm saying not even in that way and you're gonna go home with the motherfucker that's so weird like you can tell in that moment where he fucking like covered his fucking eyes he dead ass picked the wrong bitch that's what we got that's what we got ladies and gentlemen because holy shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i know he felt dumb as fuck i just remember it was like late as fuck already and we were just parked up in front of Gigi's house and we were just talking about this shit like we were just analyzing this like bro what the fuck you know like how how does this bitch still leave with him after this like how did it was just not okay i told her and i was like girl if she does anything with this man after this after what the fuck just happened that's not your friend straight up because any real bitch would have saw that and be like nah i'm good off of you they just cuddled they didn't even fuck for real so i'm like bro why are you <laughs> why is this man like why is he still around it should have just took that one fucking moment to cut you the fuck off i didn't leave Gigi's house till like 6 a.m like we were just talking about it like i finally get home you know me me time i hear fucking banging on my door on my fucking window my phone is getting blown the fuck up and i'm like nah it's Brianna outside my motherfucking door again. Bitch, go home. No, I'm playing. But I was like, damn, like, I just got home. I checked my phone. It was 9 a.m. So I get up. My eyes are on fucking fire. I open the fucking door. She's already trying to tell me, like, what they did. And I was like, bitch, straight up. I'm tired like tell me this shit when we wake the fuck up because I can't do this right now like I I wouldn't be able to like fully comprehend what the fuck you're about to tell me with my eyes burning and shit so whatever we go to sleep wake up we're getting ready and you know me knowing Gigi's side I didn't tell her shit and I was like, so what's up? Like, tell me your side, bitch. Like, I want to hear this. I want to hear if I'm fucking right. Because for some fucking odd reason, I'm never wrong. And I'm so serious. Like, <laughs> this bitch tells me they do some business. They didn't fuck, but they do a little something. Right? More than cuddling. And I was like, mm, I knew it. And I told her, I was like, hey bitch like did you ask about that dick writing shit because that shit was that shit was just too that shit was just too like it was too much for you not to bring it up or to get some fucking like clarity on that shit you know what i'm saying pay attention to this shit okay this bitch tells me that she asks how do you know her and he only tells her oh i just know her from tiktok okay remember that he just didn't want to talk about it and i'm like and you still did shit with this man because me personally 
I would have been pressing that motherfucker. I would even have went home with that motherfucker. Then she also fucking, just remember all this shit that I'm about to say right now, okay? She says that shit. This bitch says, oh, I would never let a guy get in between me and Gigi. But I'm trying to see if he's trying to take me serious. Bro, what? How do you expect to still be friends with Gigi? And still fuck with him? After that shit. I was like, bro, how the fuck did you not see it? She was, I, I, this bitch was playing dumb as fuck. She was like, see what? I'm like, bro. You cuddled with this man the night before and he fucking dabs you up literally right after he just dick wrote her. Like, what? And this bitch tried to say that she didn't see it like that. How the fuck else were you supposed to see it? Like, wait, I was like, bitch. Why do you think he reacted like that? Just, just think about it. Like, you think any regular motherfucker is just going to react like that? She was like, oh, well, you know, she didn't tell me anything. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, if they were, like, talking or fucking with each other, she would have told me. I was like, that is true. But you shouldn't be a stupid fucking bitch either. We're already, we're already past the fact that you know like she should have told me because it went this far you know what i'm saying but after that fucking interaction that should have said all of a sudden this bitch saw it like that and she was like oh my god like you're right you even see it like that but bitch you're making me realize and you're making me like open my eyes and really think about this like duh bitch it doesn't take a fucking genius to fucking put that shit together bro like what the fuck i was like you grown you know what you're doing you know what i'm saying like whatever this bitch stays at my house for like four days and i'm not one to be like oh get the fuck out you know what i'm saying but i, I think it's just like common courtesy that you shouldn't stay at somebody's house for too fucking long especially like without a fucking invite this was a fucking test okay check this out i left this bitch alone in my home the only thing that i took with me is my money and my keys and i told her hey because she was take, she was trying to take her sweet ass time she was like oh let me get ready like i guess she was gonna see that motherfucker again right she wanted to get ready and she wanted to she wanted to borrow an outfit keep in mind i had a bin full of shit that i wanted my sister to go through first before i decided to sell it on depop which y'all should go follow by the way there was a bin full of shit and i did not tell that bitch that it was a bin of shit that i didn't want okay so she had asked to borrow an outfit i grabbed a jumpsuit from that fucking bin i gave it to her and she was like okay girl like i'll be right there this bitch was doing her fucking makeup and this bitch takes the sweetest fucking time of her fucking life so i got annoyed already and i was just like you know what i'm gonna go do this i'm gonna leave you here when you're done just lock the door that's it i park up somewhere and i'm still watching her location she's still at my fucking house I want to say like a good like 10 minutes go by and she leaves and so I already head back keep in mind I know where everything's at so I come back everything's in a spot but I have a feeling that something's fucking missing I'm, I'm checking everything and it's everything is where it was but I was like nah like this bitch took something like I just fucking know she did and so I asked to see a sign. My money tree. This is Robert, by the way. His leaves turn yellow. So the weekend coming up, I'm supposed to see her again. And so I look at my Prada duffel. And I always empty that bitch out and then repack my shit. For some fucking reason, remember this. My lotion and my baby oil was missing, okay? 
So I was like, hmm. At first I thought I just misplaced that shit. But then I was like, wait. I don't ever forget my shit. At first I thought I misplaced it. But then I was like, you know what? I don't have time to look for this shit if I did. So I went to Sephora. I bought myself a new fucking lotion. The Sol Gennaro fucking lotion. The Bum Bum Cream, whatever. And I bought myself their body oil. That shit is not cheap, by the way. Okay? That shit costs, okay, to smell fucking good. Delicious. When I see her again, she's like, oh, hi, babe. Like, hugs me or whatever. And she asks me, hey, babe, do you have any lotion or baby oil? And I clicked. I was like, this bitch for some reason that whole night she was like trying to talk to me like regularly and i couldn't look that bitch in the eye and when it comes to like having a conversation with somebody i'm very big on eye contact because that just says a lot about you and what you're saying so the fact that i couldn't do that with that bitch that was that was it i facetime Gigi and i tell her this shit that this bitch stole my shit And she was like, oh, she stole from you too? Check this out. So Gigi was like, yeah, bro, tell me why my mom had gifted me these brushes. I think they were Mac, Mac Morphe. Her mom had gifted her like a set of like makeup brushes that were like brand new, whatever. And that. There was this one day where Brianna went over and all of a sudden, like, I'm going to say like three brushes were missing. So there was this one day where they were on FaceTime getting ready with each other, right? And she sees Brianna using her fucking makeup brush. And if it wasn't for Gigi speaking up and being like, hey, isn't that my makeup brush? She would have never got that shit back. She got those brushes like a minute ago and she just barely now to this motherfucking day got them back and that brianna's excuse was oh yeah you left them here and Gigi was like bro i didn't take them anywhere like i just got those bitches like what do you mean like they're at your like i left them at your house you know what i'm saying so that right there screams broke bitch it was just stupid shit and so when i told her i was like bro and you're just telling me this you told me all the other fucking bad things about this bitch and you want to tell me that she steals from her own friends look i'm not the type of bitch to wait around and wait for something to happen to me i don't need to be around that shit i don't want to be around that shit and if i am around that shit i'm gonna cut it quick you guys i pray every single night that my patience runs short with these bitches and these motherfuckers okay so whatever is not for me is gonna cut quick or just not not make the cut at all you know what i'm saying so this is where I basically confront this bitch. I'm going to read everything to you. Remember how I said I had let her borrow a jumpsuit from that band? When I came home, not only did he turn yellow and my shit was missing, that jumpsuit that I let her borrow was still in that fucking bin. And it looked like it was dug through. So she picked something else to fucking wear. I texted her. I was like, drop all my things off with Gigi. And then a couple of minutes later, I was like, make sure my lotion and my oil there too. Right? With the laughing face. She was like, girl, what you mean your oil and your lotion? I just have the clothes you let me borrow. I was like, it doesn't cost that much on Amazon, babe. It's six fucking dollars on Amazon. Plus shipping. She was like, LMFAO, I did not take your oil and your lotion. I got my own money. I can buy myself my own stuff. I don't got to go take it from other people, let alone from someone who claimed to be my friend. Pause. If you guys know me too, 
I don't consider these bitches my friends. If I fuck with you, it's because I fuck with you. And if I don't, I don't. I don't do this label shit. And especially friends. Who the f- Bitch, I don't got no motherfucking friends. If I go around saying that you're my friend, I probably don't like you. Because I don't consider anybody my motherfucking friend. I only know real bitches, okay? And like I said, look, in the messages, I didn't claim you as shit. And I'm so glad I didn't, right? Anything more than a friend. I left you alone in my home and all of a sudden my shit's gone. That's funny. It wasn't even like, oh, like she just took your lotion and... Bro, just her taking my shit, period. Why the fuck is she taking my shit in my home? So she was like, but don't worry, I'll give Gigi your clothes. I wasn't planning on keeping that shit. Wait, I wasn't planning on keeping shit that isn't mine. Just wash it for you because you let me borrow it. It was the least I can do for my friend, but clearly you were never that then. Good to know I was never nothing to you when you would tell me the opposite. Shows me the type of person you are, so thanks for showing me that. The only thing I took from your house was the clothes, believe me or not, I don't care. Either way you getting your clothes back, we can be done and we can be th- either way you're getting your clothes back and we could be done with each other. What the fuck? I said, it shouldn't have to take for me to tell you you're weird when you already know you're weird. And I don't do this back and forth shit either. Return all my shit and just be original, babe. What the? Because, bitch, I said, all that money but still borrowing from people is crazy. Crazy, right? Because she said she got money. She was like, people... I don't know where you're getting that information from love but it's whatever like i said i'll give you your shit and that's that i said being a nobody and acting like you're somebody is crazy and it's funny because i don't claim bitches as my friends i only know real bitches you got cut quick ma that should tell you something for real you're not a real you're not a real bitch <laughs> that's it she was like oh my lord i'm crying girl bye i'm done with this conversation i said And I put laughing emojis and I was like, just because your own friend's not going to tell you how weird you are, don't mean I won't. Bye, bitch. You're dismissed. After that shit, I had peeped that she posted something on her story. What was like, who you are behind my back means more to me than who you claim to be in my face. Bitch, shut the fuck up. (laughs) One thing I'm not going to do is remove you. Bitch, you're going to remove yourself. So right after that, I texted Gigi. And look what this bitch had to say. I sent Gigi all the screenshots of the messages that I just read to y'all. She was like, OMG, ayo, at least you got that off your shoulders. I seen your post and I was like, bye. I can't believe y'all really went at it. Oh my God. And I told her, I was like, don't ever bring weird old bitches around me ever again. Ever. She was like, I didn't expect this, man. I was like, nah, you knew. It's crazy nobody's it's crazy nobody's told that weirdo shit. You should have been the first for real. She was nah I didn't know I was one big happy family and bam this shit happened and I have many times when I see it. I said nah dude stay away from bitches like that. Not even not even her other friend wants to be around her. This bitch said I'll keep my guard up. I was like, keep it up and keep her the fuck away, okay? This happened like fucking Sunday. It's already fucking Tuesday. So I text Gigi again and I was like, so did that ugly bitch drop off my clothes? Because <laughs> she sure had time to block me. I'm going to drop a story time on that weirdo. That's what we doing right now. That's what we're doing right now. Gigi was like, no, she didn't drop them off yet. I'm going to tell her to stop by today. I got you. But LMAO, bro, oh my gosh, she blocked you. <laughs> I was like, wanna be influencer as only 500 followers. Yeah, she did. Weak ass bitch. I want my shit and that fade. <laughs> I'm funny. She was like, she won't fight you, to be honest. Peace and love, man. I'll get you your clothes, though. Don't worry, shoddy. I said, peace and love for the real bitches. Phony bitches don't deserve shit. Shit. It's like, I didn't want drama to happen. Sigh. I said, girl, nah. When you're weird, I'm gonna let you know. And you already knew right she knew the bitch was weird she said knew about what and i said her being weird and she said no i didn't actually i end careers for a living ma i do i said she never even had one she never even had one and i'm gonna cut that shit short 
she was like i don't want to be in this drama i got other shit to worry about aka new job because i hate this i'm doing right now but i gotta do it for school i said if you didn't want to be in drama you should have never brought that weird old bitch around me like that plain and simple bitch like girl i didn't even know all of that would have happened between y'all to be honest she was cool with the other friends who aren't social media people aren't key fucking word bitch and you knew i just went through some shit with some book bruh i just went through some shit with some bitches like she should have stayed with she should have stayed that ass with the hype house <laughs> she was like no not the hype house me thinking nothing about it introducing y'all i was like friend meets friend and i was like i don't like wanna be ass bitches who does she was like i'm just keeping it mutual said nah girl she was like i told her i didn't want to be in this drama all i do is work and go to the gym i said that energy's ugly as fuck in general like why would you want to keep it mutual like after everything and who the fuck knows what the fuck else they've been through you know what i'm saying i'm not there yet hold on she was like yeah i'm gonna just keep my distance how i had it before I was like, why is it so hard for you to cut that bitch off? Hmm? I, I don't understand. She said she knows a lot and I've been through a lot with her too, to be honest. I distanced myself at some point though, like distance. And I was like, what is it really? She was like, I for real didn't see some of the things people would tell me about her, to be honest. Like, I don't know if I'm blinder than I am. I said, girl, you too grown to give a fuck about what she got to say. She's a nobody. Bruh, like, are we, are we forgetting that? Like, this bitch is a fucking nobody. She was like, but I literally see a different version. And when people tell me, I'm like, I don't see it. But I don't know. I don't know how until you started pointing shit out, too. And I was like, bro, there's a Yolanda in every Selena's life. What's she going to say for real? Because I love you and all, but what the f- Nah, bro. Like, this is so stupid. Like, how do you not fucking see this shit? She was like, I know. Maybe I should talk to her about it when she comes to drop your shit off. <sighs> I was like, keeping bitches around and feeling that animosity every time just because you're scared of letting some weirdo go that knows about your past is fucking crazy she was like i have attachment issues too you see how stuck on my ex i am bitch what the fuck does that have to do with anything i was like your ego is low if you have to keep toxic people around because they know what you've been through or that y'all been through it together that doesn't make any fucking sense she's like i mean to be honest i never really had an issue with her ever since the other shit that had happened and i was like let that bitch say something about anything and she'll get aired the fuck out however you want to get aired out bitch this counts and i was like of course you're not gonna do that to you though you're the bitch that she wants to be yo what? What? like not only yeah not only the bitch that she wants to be but the only bitch giving her that fucking access because like i said to bring that up there again she was telling me that she wants to be around me more and that her being around me more was going to make her into an influencer. I'm not going to give that bitch that access. I'm not going to give that bitch that satisfaction. I'm not going to do anything. Bitch, tighten the fuck up. She was like, don't worry. She hasn't even told me shit about the situation. She said, I'm going to stay unbothered. Bitch, shut the fuck up. And I was like, because she a nobody nobody's don't get bothered the fuck she can't say nothing else but that she got called out and feels dumb as fuck for it how the fuck else am i supposed to put this for this bitch like so i replied to the message where she was like i mean to be honest i never really had any issues with her ever since the other shit that had happened i was like that ain't tell you enough that's fucking embarrassing i said man fuck this bitch tell her to keep the fucking clothes because i know she needs it (laughs) she was like i'm telling you girl she was different i didn't have issues after that i was like all of a sudden right 
okay she's like i laughed i'm sorry oh i saw shit though not gonna lie i was like and i still ain't tell you nothing how the fuck you saying you saw that shit you peeped that shit you know that shit and you still what she was like that's why i'm gonna talk to her tomorrow i said i don't want to be around people like that tomorrow's canceled too fuck i forgot to say this literally this day that we're texting the day after that me nat Gigi, and another one of Gigi's friends we were supposed to all hang out okay that's why i said tomorrow's canceled because bro i don't want to be around people like this you think this is these are people that i want to fucking be around for real like oh all right then like the energy switch like i don't know how you expect it to still fucking like be down to hang out i i don't know let me just let me just keep reading the shit Ooh, ooh. i was like there's no way you're still talking to her about this shit and she was like i'm not bruh she just fucking okay she and i was like you told me what i needed to hear clearly she was like, I literally work and gym and sleep and FaceTime this one motherfucker that she was talking to. And I was like, nah, bro, you just confirmed it. And she was like, huh? I was like, reread this conversation because I'm not about to say it again. Mm-mm. She was like, I mean, I said I talked to her tomorrow regardless about everything. And I said, like, go ahead. Take pictures with that bitch, too. <laughs> Put laughing emojis. You know, me being the petty bitch that I am. She was like, uh, I'm not even trying to turn this into something. So if you don't want to be friends, that's cool. We don't have to beef. I did. I said, who's beefing? Like, bitch. Laughing emoji again. She said, I said, I'm distancing myself. And that's the truth. I have so much to focus on besides all that. And I was like, of course, the truth gonna look like that to you. The truth is going to look like beef to any fucking guilty ass motherfucker, okay? She was like, I'm just saying because I don't want to argue or nothing. I wanted us all to be good still. I said, nah. That's where you're wrong, babe. No. She was like, but I know it's going to bug you regardless of her being a mutual. Bro. What? Oh, fuck, man. I... I'm like remembering like little like piece by piece by piece as I'm like fucking reliving this fucking moment and shit. Remember when I said that she fucking told me that she wanted to she wasn't going to let a guy like get in between her and Gigi, but she wanted to see if she was going to take that motherfucker serious. Gigi fucking told me that Brianna told that bitch that she actually cussed him the fuck out pressed his shit and was like yeah i'm i'm never gonna i'm never gonna choose a guy over my my girl so like basically fuck you and i was like uh did she mention the fact that she said that she still wanted to see if he wanted to take her serious i was like it, why is this bitch telling me one thing and telling Gigi another like if me and Gigi don't fucking talk like if i didn't know this bitch before this bitch like bitch are you dumb oh my god i replied to the one where it was like if you don't want to be friends we don't have to be whatever i said so quick to tell me this but when it comes to that weirdo no back talk i'm in the wrong bitch she was like i'm not though i've been closer to her other friend than i've been with her and i was like bro that other friend even fucking told me how much of a weirdo that bitch is and how she doesn't like Gigi hanging out with her. I said that right fucking here. And she cool with you having that around you? That's not even a motherfucking friend. She was like, she don't like drama either, so we just chilling. I don't want to talk to Brianna on a daily. I'm telling you, I've been with the other girl more for a reason. I was like, that's literally not the point. But pop off. She was like, let me see it myself because I've been saying I don't see it all the time what people tell me. I went in on this bitch. I was like, what are you waiting for? For her to steal your shit again? 
for her to fuck your ex or the motherfuckers you're talking to you just said you still fuck with the bitch because she knows your shit not because she a real ass bitch it's basically a trauma bond she was like be fair she hasn't been weird to me at all since we became friends again okay again that's why i brought her around you i didn't think any of this would have happened but i guess she was a different type of girl around you because that's the only time i saw it when the three of us would be together and i was like what the fuck do you mean again she was like it's a long story to be honest but yeah i'm telling you i only ever see her being like that when you're around i don't know why so she then goes on to explain why they stopped being friends And I remember Brianna telling me this fucking story too because they're connected to some TikTok motherfuckers and that's already a whole nother stupid fucking shit, like a whole nother mess. That's not even my mess, so I'm not going to go too deep in that shit, but I know of it. And basically Brianna and some other girl, they were like this and the other girl got really drunk and she ended up fighting Brianna and they got into it and after all that shit brianna was still trying to make sure that that girl got home safe literally called up her mom didn't even tell her that they fought and was like oh can you pick up your daughter she's like really drunk bro you think if i fought a bitch i'm gonna give a fuck about her after that and so yeah she was explaining this dumbass story and i was like oh she told me about this dumbass fight She was like, yeah, I'm telling you, Brianna did her a big favor. But I guess the other girl was telling her different shit. And I was like, I don't get how this makes Brianna a hero trying to save a bitch that thought was her friend that fought her. (laughs) What the fuck? Like, and she was like, they all made me think that she was weird because I thought at first it was her. Like, I'm telling you. I didn't want to talk to the bitch until I saw her side and shit. Literally. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all literally met because y'all was fucking with the same motherfucker. Are we forgetting that? Boom. Fucking neat little story. I had asked Gigi how they even fucking meet. Here we go with these TikTok motherfuckers, okay? So... Brianna was fucking with this well-known TikToker, okay? Fucking with whatever. There was this one night where she met up with this TikTok motherfucker. And then I guess there was plots with like eight other motherfuckers. So that means there was going to be eight bitches for eight motherfuckers. That was an eight man. I don't fucking know. But so Brianna pulls up for that TikTok motherfucker and then she sees that Gigi is with the TikTok motherfucker. So Brianna like goes up to her and like pulls her to the side. She hit her with the hey girly IRO. Okay. She hit her with that shit and she was like, hey bitch, like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to start anything, you know, like I'm just letting you know. Like, because you're like, ha ha he with this motherfucker, but I was just with this motherfucker last night. And boom, a friendship was started. You think I'm gonna want to be friends with a bitch that was like fucking on the same motherfucker I was fucking on? Bitch, you think we this now? Get the fuck out of my face. I would have told that bitch straight up in my fucking face. Like like yeah it's not her fault like it's not the girl's fault like the guy knew but still bro how the fuck do you become friends with the bitch like that like so back to this shit i was like are we forgetting that that's how y'all met right she said but i personally never had an issue with her besides her copying me and shit and the time i think i think she took my brushes i was like you think she was like i'd even like him but true we'd we should have never yeah i know never mind i was like the same brushes that you say you saw her use i was like i don't know how you really type it in my face right now try to convince me that this bitch is a good person right idea wrong bitch she was like i'm not i'm just saying i never had issues with her 
She stole from her own friend. I left this bitch alone in my home. And I even know the bitch long enough or just as long as you. Because like I said, I've known Gigi longer. So there's no way you making excuses for this bitch because she ain't do nothing like that to you yet. I was like, you scared of a nobody ending you? That's crazy. I can't be around bitches like that. She said, I didn't think any of that would have happened though. Like at all. Why would I introduce someone who would be weird to my friend? I didn't see anything beforehand. I was like, cause there's no way. I was like, there's no way you're going to hang out with me and still have this bitch around. Zero fucking way, bitch. She was like, ending what? I'm just chilling. I'm going to keep my distance with her. I was like, keep it with me too, for real. I can't stand bitches like that or even ones that tolerate that shit. That's sad as fuck. I don't need that shit at all. Let me know when she does you dirty as fuck, though. This bitch was going around telling people that we don't fuck with each other no more. And she was giving like this little fucking sob story and shit. When I got questioned about it, I was like, bro, these bitches are weird. And it was crazy because those people saw like how much we were like fucking with each other. But like, I can't fuck with shit like that. Like, I don't give a fuck how cool we was, how close we was, how good like the friendship was. I just, I can't like, I don't give a fuck who you are. Like, right. Cause they was asking me, I was like, bro, this bitch stole from me. And I remember them going like, are you sure she stole from you? And I'm like, bitch, out of all the things to fucking make up in the fucking world, you think I'm going to just make up that she stole my lotion and my baby oil? Not even fucking like my money, not even fucking something like worth it? Like, bro, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So the people made like, you know, she was so quick to tell her fucking story. It made people look at me like, you know, so check this out. I had saw her again this one last night and there was ten- there was hella tension hella I wasn't saying shit though because I don't give a fuck like that bitch not paying me so I could really give two fucks about that bitch right being there at the same place that I'm at I'm packing all my shit and for some reason I get like this feeling like telling me to look where I place my bag. Something just like drags my head all the way down. And so at this point, I'm on my fucking knees looking at something on the floor. I see my fucking lotion. <laughs> my fucking lotion. That was last seen in my motherfucking house. You broke ass bitch. You couldn't have asked me for the fucking Amazon link. Use my Amazon storefront. I was like, remember how you asked me? Are you sure she fucking stole from me? This was last seen in my motherfucking house. All of a sudden, it's on the motherfucking floor. Behind the motherfucking shelf. How the fuck did it get there? And they were like, holy shit like you know this person like she was going around telling people like making it seem like oh you just stopped fucking with her but i'm like no bitch there's a reason behind everything and everything happens for a fucking reason i was like bro i just don't act out lash out you know react a certain way for no fucking reason like there's there's obviously like a fucking bro like I'm not crazy, bitch. Like, I'm not I'm not stupid. I'm not crazy. I'm not anything that you might think I am, bitch. Like, <laughs> even that person understood that it was the fucking principle. It wasn't like because, oh, it's like $6 lotion. Like, get another one. No. I left this bitch alone in my home. All of a sudden, my shit's gone. I even told them about Robert because they're very spiritual too and they understand that concept so (laughs) what the fuck 
Like, bro. I just lost brain cells reliving that shit. Bitches really be <laughs> broke. <laughs> That's all I can motherfucking say. Like, you're mad, you're broke. That's it. There's no other explanation for this. Like, in conclusion, bitch, you're broke. Oh. Oh, hello. But yeah, you guys. So, just another reason why I hate bitches. <laughs> just another one to the list. But yeah, you guys, this is the end of the motherfucking story and the video. But you know, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good, fun, fantastic shit. Protect your peace. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, bitches. <laughs>